Hi, brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Tim Henderson. Well, man, things just keep coming out. Not sure how many of you have been following since the meeting that was televised between President Trump, Mike Pence, Vice President Mike Pence, uh, Nancy Pelosi, and Chuck Schumer. Nancy Pelosi at the time did not want that on tape, and it got a little bit heated between Schumer and our president. Um, you, can, you can look that up. That, <clears throat> that is on video. In that meeting, our president said yes I will shut the government down if I don't get the funding for my wall. Now, there's a couple of key things that are going on now. So by tomorrow, Friday at midnight, there is a bill that passed the Senate that did not have the $5 billion for the wall in there. Paul Ryan has said he's going to take it back. They're going to modify it. And he believes they'll have the votes to get it through to put the $5 billion in there. This is a stop gap bill that will permit the government to keep going. Well, the president has made it very clear without that $5 billion for the wall, he will shut the government down. Now, of course, the critics are out on that. Um, again, I'm going to tell you, there is no political solution to a spiritual problem. What's interesting about that is that we're going to watch what will happen, I can't even tell you. I'm just uh, I'm just bringing you things. And, and some people criticize me for bringing anything political, but I'm bringing you what's political that could have prophetic significance in that as we are in the final moments of the end of days. So you could potentially be looking at a shutdown tomorrow by midnight. If the, And I believe the president will do it. I believe he's going to stick with it. He will not sign that bill. He will let the government shut down if he does not get the $5 billion for his wall. Now we'll see if Ryan follows through and if he'll get the votes and what's going to come of that. Additionally, the feds have raised the interest rate again. Now, if you know anything about how that impacts us um, as a nation, historically, <coughs> excuse me, when the feds have raised the interest rate, you could see, often you would see, an impact. Many times it was the catalyst that helped us go into a recession and or we see the stock market, a plumbing in the stock market. Well, we've already seen instability with the stock market. I'm not saying we'll go in recession. I'm not saying those things will happen. I'm just bringing you real time, the feds are raising the interest rate again. I don't think that's a wise decision when the stock market is already unstable. Um, so I just want to bring you that information because think about it. We've got a potential government shutdown. We've got the stock market that could plummet even more. Folks, I keep talking about the dominoes. The dominoes could fall at any time. Listen, tomorrow is the winter solstice. I don't worship that. I'm just saying it is. There are so many things that are going on. You know what? We put our trust and our faith in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And, and here's the great thing. We know that we are in the final moments of the end of days. These kind of things should excite us. Everything I've been sharing today, I think this is my third or fourth video, but there's so much going on in the world that, that we can't overlook. The signs, the convergence of everything is pointing to the bridegroom coming, the harpazo, the great snatching away. So embrace every moment. Let Holy Spirit lead you and guide you. <clears throat> Tell your loved ones that Jesus loves them. Bring them the gospel message. Oh, brothers and sisters, it won't be long. Now. It will not be long now. And we don't know the day nor hour, but I want to encourage you. We're encouraged with this. Our blessed hope is about to happen. Look up for our redemption draws nigh. Sometimes I know it, it, it's, it's difficult to, um, to be focused on things we need to be focused on because we get so excited. Yet sadly, as I spoke with a couple people today, I'm, I'm telling them about the things going on, and I talk about the rapture. It's like, 
deer in a headlight. They have no clue what I'm talking about. People who have been church their whole life have no clue what I'm talking about. I talk about us pulling out of Syria. I talk about um, Ezekiel's war lining up. No clue. Deer in a headlight. They have no clue. Yet on this channel and on these channels and, and some of the others, David Lee, yeah, I praise God for you guys as well. I've been, I, I love watching your videos as well because you're sharing the same information that we're getting and, and, and letting people know that God loves them and, and the way that they can be saved and praise God that Jesus is coming soon. And, and so I rejoice with you, my brothers and sisters. I, I am so thankful for those of you who are praying for one another, lifting one another up. Even before I can get to comments, I really try to do that. I can't always do it, but I try. I'm, I have two funerals here, uh, one tomorrow. I'm, I'm meeting with the folks here shortly uh, when, I, when I get back to the church on that. There's just so many things going on, and we all have life that happens. But I promise you, when I see those prayer requests, I'm praying for you. I just want to thank you, my brothers and sisters who have taken the mantle and are part of this, those who encourage and answer the questions for those who are sincere and have real biblical questions, those who intercede and pray. You guys are such a blessing, a blessing to the body, a blessing to me. And, and I just thank the Lord that as a body of Christ, we can work together for his glory and our good and to see the law saved. Well, listen, this may be the last one tonight, but who knows? With everything going on constantly, like, man, we're getting there quickly. It, everything has sped up tremendously. I just want you to know I truly do love you and appreciate you. If I don't get on here until tomorrow or <laughs> uh, should the Lord come, I'll meet you in the clouds. God bless you.